For 20 years, this section of Universal Studios Florida has been trapped in time. For the better part of a decade, plans for at least a half dozen properties set to replace Kid Zone have failed to get off the ground. But could DreamWorks finally be the one to break the curse? Let's check in on what attractions have been dreamt up for this area and how it looks as though DreamWorks is already taking over in today's rumor update. Theme park fans have jokingly theorized that this area of Universal Studios Florida has been cursed ever since the Bates Motel and House sets from Psycho 4 were removed more than 20 years ago. For whatever reason, none of the plans to replace the family-friendly attractions in this area have worked out over the years, and not for a lack of trying. Super Nintendo World got the closest to replacing the entire area. Permits for demolition of all of the existing structures except E.T. and the construction of several attractions were filed with the county in 2017. At the last minute, all of the Nintendo plans were moved to the upcoming Epic Universe theme park down the street instead. A year later, it looked as though Pokemon was about to be greenlit to take over the area. This new land was rumored to receive a mock inverted powered coaster with indoor and outdoor scenes, a battle arena show that would have used augmented reality technology, as well as multiple interactive Pokemon activities. These proposed plans would have replaced everything in the area except for Animal Actors and E.T. Adventure. No one is sure why the Pokemon plans were cancelled, although some believe they've only been put on hold for now. Whether Pokemon will still end up taking over Kids Zone, be built as an expansion for Epic Universe, or maybe even take over a section of Islands of Adventure remains to be seen. The first big change to happen to the Kids Zone area in over two decades came when the Barney Show officially closed in February of 2021. A few months later, a quick replacement moved in. Named DreamWorks Destination, this interactive meet and greet features popular characters from franchises like Trolls, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, and Shrek. Some took it as a sign for things to come. In recent weeks, even more DreamWorks representation has moved into the area. Shrek lost his home when Shrek 4D closed permanently near the front of the park at the start of the year. When the Monsters Cafe next door closed shortly after, Shrek's original meet-and-greet location was closed as well. Now, a new meet-and-greet has taken over the former Barney gift shop, themed as Shrek's Swamp Meat. Here you can meet Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey. Could these last two additions signal the start of a larger takeover? Maybe we are witnessing it happen, but in slow motion, rather than all at once. And the funny thing is, it wouldn't be the first time DreamWorks was planned to take over this area. Universal may have been dreaming up a DreamWorks replacement for KidZone years before Super Nintendo World would be slated for the area. Named DreamWorks FunWorks, according to rumored early concepts, this area would draw from some of the popular characters and settings of the era. Funnily enough, in the older concept, Shrek's Swamp Meet and Greet would have been located near the entrance to the area on the left, just about where it is now. The area also would have contained a Madagascar play area, Rise of the Guardians flat ride, a Kung Fu Panda tracked ride with both indoor and outdoor scenes, a How to Train Your Dragon mini land with a small show and a retheme of the existing Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse coaster, and a quick service location featuring Wallace and Gromit. These plans would have replaced Barney, Curious George, Fievel's Playland, and retheme the existing kitty coaster. They would have left the Animal Actors show and ET Adventure ride intact. It's not clear if this concept was being worked on before or after the company acquired DreamWorks in 2016, but it seemed like Universal was interested in bringing more of these characters into the parks as soon as possible. Since these plans were drawn up, a land based on Kung Fu Panda has found its way into Universal Beijing, and a land based on How to Train Your Dragon is being built at Epic Universe in Orlando. Although both the Dragon stage show and roller coaster for this iteration will be much, much larger. 
There are new rumors that say a modern take on a DreamWorks land here in Kid Zone would feature an indoor dark ride at the back of the area based on the popular Trolls franchise. The land would also feature attractions based on Madagascar and Shrek characters, including a new play area to replace Fievel and a retheme of the Woody Woodpecker coaster. Shrek's new meet and greet would likely get to stay as well as DreamWorks' destination in the old Barney Theater for sing-alongs and meet-and-greets. Although the theater entrance may be rerouted through the old indoor play area side of Barney, so the courtyard space can be utilized for the Trolls ride. There are rumors that Universal Studios Florida may still be getting a new attraction for 2024, despite the Harry Potter expansion that would have replaced Fear Factor Live being canceled. The still unannounced Minions Villain Con shooter attraction replacing Shrek 4D is expected to open in 2023, but a possible 2024 edition remains a mystery. Perhaps this DreamWorksification of the Kids Zone area will continue in stages, and one of those updates would be our attraction for 2024. Fievel's Playland just received a new coat of paint on most of the area, so it may still have a few years left in it. Other rumors for 2024 keep coming up, featuring a new attraction based on a fan favorite. Although the internet is torn on whether it would be Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, or something else. I'm not so sure that these are actual rumors or just people's hopes, though. Either way, perhaps a Kid Zone replacement is being held off until after Epic Universe opens. We'll be keeping our eyes peeled for progress, because with DreamWorks slowly taking over the area bit by bit, Maybe there's a chance the curse may have been lifted. That's all for now, but if you'd like to bring a piece of the parks home, SouvenirSense.com has candles and wax melts that smell just like the E.T. ride, Butterbeer, Halloween Horror Nights, and more. Save 15% off every order with my promo code PARKSTOP at SouvenirSense.com. Be sure to subscribe for more theme park news and rumors. And if you like what we do, consider joining our Patreon for exclusive information and early access. Thanks for watching. See you next time.